When Intralogic met with Stony Brook University, they described some of their challenges and some of the goals they wanted to accomplish. One of the main things was how they can bring together all this data into what they call a common operating picture, so that all the disparate systems can talk and be displayed on the video wall. Hurricane Sandy was an unprecedented event for, for us here at Stony Brook University, and really for, for higher ed uh, in the Northeast region. We uh, experienced everything from power outage, uh, complete network failure, uh, we had a, a tree hit a building and a structural collapse where we had to evacuate portions of our residence hall. We had a gunpoint robbery in the middle of the storm and then unfortunately uh, a student death uh, that occurred off campus. So we realized quickly that during an, uh, an evolving and expanding incident such as the, what we experienced during Sandy and the 24 and 48 hours afterwards, uh, that managing our, our incidents and our emergency management uh, platform could not simply be managed uh, within the conference room. The biggest part is really the leveraging the technology uh, and the use of HyperWall to be able to quickly move uh, content as the incident evolves uh, from, from one area to another and be able to display it in a room where everyone else uh, can see it at the same time. So HyperWall offers us the ability to have a very streamlined and easy to use console where you could take content from any of the computers in the room and you can put it on multiple screens, one screen, you can enlarge it, you can shrink it, you can move it to the left or right, and it's a very straightforward, streamlined process um, that's user friendly. Intralogic selected HyperWall as our vendor for the video wall because we wanted a system that was agnostic and would work with any hardware. The university had select hardware that they wanted to utilize and it was our goal to make it all work together. Hyperwall was a perfect choice because it really made all the technology come together and it didn't matter what video monitors we used or hardware because it all came together into the system. When developing our emergency operations center, certainly in a municipal government, financial concerns are, are always a consideration. Uh, while we did have a, a substantial budget for, for our project, we knew that uh, we needed to design something that would be able to be deployed with our existing infrastructure and be able to be compatible with all the many systems that we had on campus. So uh, the ability for Hyperwall to be vendor agnostic and software agnostic where it didn't make a difference what system we were running or what system we planned on using in the future, uh, the ability to, to get that content and be able to move it around quickly uh, through the use of, of Hyperwall's hardware and software was really a key selling point for us. So we have the capability to take information from any person on or off of the campus, whether it's an emergency service or utility service or anything that we're able to get digitally and display it on the hyperwall quickly and prominently so that way everybody in the room can see it and make a quick and effective decision. The great thing about hyperwall is that we get the information as quickly as we need it to allow us to make sound decisions during an emergency. The university can respond extremely quickly using the hyperwall video management solution.